Hi and welcome to Excel Cafe Management System developed using VBA. Okay guys, so let me show you guys how it works. I'm going to click on reset and there we go. When you click on any of those checkbox, that's what you get. Okay, let's say we want six hours iced cappuccino and then let's go for maybe five American coffee and let's go for seven African coffee and cappuccino maybe two iced lolly two espresso let's go for six of those there and what about a curry pack chocolate yeah Kilburn chocolate Boston cream cake and black forest cake let's go for Lagos one too yeah there and uh, red velvet okay those are my selections all you just need to do is click on total there so those are supposed to be the customers request and you can also issue the receipt right there so that's how it works so what I'll do now guys is to take you guys straight into Excel and we put one of these together using VBA. So let's do that now. Hi, this is an Excel VBA coffee management system. So I'm going to start by clicking on the developer tool. But if you don't have the developer tool on your system, go to file, select options and come to customize ribbon and that is your developer tool if it's not checked you need to check it right there and click on ok now that the developer tool is ready you can also select alt f11 that is it now right there alt f11 and then select visual basic once you're in this development environment, which is the VBA development environment, go to insert, select user form. That is your form. Now, select the property or you can right click and grab the property there. I will now define the size of my form. So I'm going to make that approximately the height. I'll make the height approximately 600. And I'll make the width. Let's make that approximately 1,020, 22, or maybe 24. There. Now I'm going to also change the back color. But first and first, I would like to make sure I know the color of the background. I'm going to copy that color because I intend to use it for the component. But let's change the back color to black right there now I will now select frame which is right there that's the frame like I said earlier on I would like to use that very color for my frame there now I've got my frame color back all right I need a couple of those frames so let's start by closing this and close this as well for now so I need a frame right here I need it up here and drag it that much or maybe just copy this very frame I need a couple of those and I'm gonna need maybe two more of those okay now drag this that much right now the first frame this very one here, bring it up here, and just arrange it. Let's say something like this. Speed up the whole process, then get back to you guys. Okay, select both frames and just drag it down that much. Now bring these two frames here.
and then just take it there just to make some room for the other one and that will be here let's just drag this right so that's how the frames looks for now okay now that the frames are in place let's come to the tools and select label yeah a label here yeah. I'm going to change the size of that label to let's go for 72 let's see font let's change that to 72 I intend to add an image there so let's come in here now the image I intend to add will be as follows okay let's get the image that I intend to use from Word those are the image I would like to use and you can always find them here if you select and set it's right here go to webbings right there there they are one two and three okay I'm gonna copy it across let's select and copy now let's come straight into into Excel paste that in there and now let's change the font type I'm gonna change that to webbings there we go right there yeah so those are my images right that's fine that's fine okay so the next thing is let's add another label yeah and that very label I'm just gonna type in I think let's change that to 72 as well or maybe something yeah maybe let's go for 60 get back in there alright and just enter in the cafe management system yeah that's fine alright this is how it looks now okay I guess you guys can see it and we can even run it there okay so let me just save it let's come here and save and we're gonna be saving it as let's come to Excel macro enable workbook so let's give it a name VBA Cafe management system right and just click on save there all right the next thing is I'm gonna need a couple of these so let's increase the font size of this as well let's change that to let's go for 20 right in there enter as follows into the caption ice cappuccino there so I'm just gonna copy it across because I need a couple more move it up a little bit then the next one will be let's go for American American coffee there all right okay the 
just put a knife in here. Alright. And just drag it that much. Right. Okay, the next one. Let's go for. I'm going to call this African coffee. African coffee. Now, I'll just speed that up. Okay, the next thing now, let's get text box in place. Right there. Let's draw it that much. Okay, we're going to need a couple of those. Just yeah, speed that up anyway. And just two more here. Right. There. Okay, so we can then copy all of these here. Let's just copy it all across. Right for the other frame and then change the content we have on this frame okay if you guys look have a good look at it it's coming up gradually so let's run it so that you see how it looks like all right so let's change this or well, maybe start with this I'm gonna change that to let's go for coffee cake coffee cake there and the next one that will be red velvet cake alright so I will just speed that up now okay guys this is how the whole system looks now let me just run it so that you guys see it that is how it all looks so what is left now is for us to start with the coding and here i also have a text box where we can enter customers information into our sort of like receipt that's what goes in there and we're going to have to make that text box multi-line and we have text here it's our text box as well labels labels these are our labels and here we have checkbox and buttons 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 and buttons okay now let's take care of this that's a very easy one as uh, we can just say unload me let's come back up here there now let's get back into the main program itself okay we now need to get the form involved let's double click on that and uh, yeah that's the form so I want let's use a different method here form activate so which means when the form activate I'll like the following which is txt Africa I think it's Africa African dot okay it's African dot text I like it to default into zero there okay I'll repeat the same thing for America one TXT American coffee dot text equals zero all right now let's do one more and we can always speed up the rest txt black dot text equals zero all right so that is for the text box okay this is how it all looks now so the next one is well, let me just run it for you guys to see there that is it those are the default values in there so the next thing I want to do now is to make sure all of these when they are run they are disabled or the text box I mean 
let's make sorry make sure the text box are all disabled so let's go back in here so let's come in here and just enter txt latin so it's an e dot text oh no dot enable dot enable equals force right now the next one will be let's go for txt expresso dot enable equals force so i'm just gonna speed that up as well then the other one that i would like to take care of would be c h k africa i think it's african dot recheck let's see I think it's dot enable as well equals force alright so I will now speed all of these up and get back to you guys okay this is how the form activate looks like as for all the, all of the text box and here that's to disable the text box as well and in here though those are for the check boxes actually the check box the value in VBA is called uh, it is called value in VBA it's not called enable or whatever you know check is fine it's called a uh, value so that's fine now what else do we need to take care of here let's run it first though there that's how it all looks for now okay the other thing that i can easily take care of is the reset button here which means i just cover i just copy that very lines of code that you guys saw earlier this one's copy it all yeah and let's paste that inside the reset here the reset button there yeah. right up there paste and the other one is going to be the the reset let's clear the receipt if the receipt is not cleared we'll just clear that okay. and now we on for the receipt equals clear okay so which means if there's anything there we click on that let's say we say we enter something in there we can always clear it this one is nothing will happen for now apart from it defaulting back to how it was as you can see and let's just click on this there okay we, only, we now need when we click on this we want this to enable that so that's what we're gonna do now okay with that now guys I will call it the end of this the first part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the second part of the tutorial